And good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the March 8th edition of Morning Mindset. I'm your host, Todd. How are you doing today? Man, it's a day. We, we got a lot of excitement to talk about today, so we'll get into that shortly. But remember, uh, when you get in here, let me know who you are, where you're from, what's in your cup, and what the weather is like in your area. But most important, what are five things? What are five things that you are going to accomplish today? Your daily five. That's what we need is your daily five. So for us, we've got DTF that needs to get done. Now I'm going to have to distinguish between the two. Uh, we are launching our UV DTF today. So that is happening right now. We've got shirts that need to be pressed. We've updated the website. I've already taken care of that this morning. And I've got to update links. So we got to update our link tree, which I think is right there. So that is what we got for our five. What is your five? As far as weather, I think it's like in the 40s and raining. It was, it's raining and I don't like being out in the rain. Uh, the other good thing is I'm shedding. So I don't know if you can see all that, but I'm shedding from from the good old the good old sunburn from vacation. So we've got a lot, lot, lot to do today. We'll talk about this week. Uh, we'll talk about next week. Uh, we'll talk about the training that we've attended the last three days, which I still believe there's plenty of time to get in there and buy it, so that way you can get it. Uh, and then you know some things that are going on next week. So, but first off. Let's check in and see how people are doing this morning. Darren, good morning to you, my friend. Darren's got 42 and feels like 35. Windy and damp there on Topeka. Ooh, firelight last night, so taking it easy on a Friday. Well, you're here, so you're safe, so that's good to know. Good to hear. Sarah, good morning to you. 39 and cloudy there in southeast Wisconsin. Coffee in the cup. Renee's got 41 and gray and cloudy in Chicago. And water in the bottle. Coffee in the cup. Morning, Darren and Sarah. I got coffee in the cup and I burnt myself. You ever do that? You've got your lid, you know, where your where your lid is, and you have it to the side, and you just pick it up wrong, and it burns you in the mouth. Yep, that's how I started. Uh, that's how I started about an hour ago, hour and a half ago. No, oh, it was way before that. It's already 8.30. So about two hours ago, and I can still feel it. It doesn't feel good. What's up, Chuck? Good morning to you. We're at 72 and sunny there in Florida. He's got nothing to cup yet, right? Thanks for checking in. Good morning to you. Renee giving her mornings to Chuck and Rye. And Kristen, good morning. I have strawberry lemonade in my cup, and it's 45 out today. Ooh, strawberry lemonade. Add a little rum to that. We got ourselves a Friday. Jeff, morning to you. 48 and rain there in northern Kentucky. No drink today. Four of five things is printing. Other is local delivery. Love it, love it, love it. Rena, Rena's here because Rena's going to tell us how she uses UV DTF in her business. So, Rena, I even brought down... I, I thought I might be able to entice you a little because I went and found my uh, red sweatshirt with, with white strings you're so fond of. So I'll put it on, you know, UV, DTF. Tell us how you're using it in your business because I'm going to tell you how I, we plan on using it in ours. George, good morning to you, my friend. And we've got Barb checking in. Barb's got that. Uh, she's from North Central Minnesota. It is 20 and lightly snowing. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hot basil herbal tea in the cup and water in the tumbler. Hi uh, from Delaware, FU, Facebook user. So Facebook and Streamer don't always play nice. When that happens, that's what happens. You become Facebook user. So there's a couple ways around that. First, you can head to fatdadlive.com. That'll get you right into our YouTube channel. While you're there, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, so that way when we go live, you'll be notified. The other for all of our links, and the one we're promoting the most of, thanks to Brian and our mentorship group pointing that out to me. And so now that's what we're going with fatdadcd.com that will get you into where all of our links are so that's what we're that's what we got we're gonna push for push push on that side of it uh let's see let's see where did i where did i skip off at ryan's just rubbing it in 65 and blue skies at the moment way a protein in the cup mm, 65 sounds beautiful haven't looked yet is there a sample pack available for the new stickers there is not one available yet but we are working on one uh, because what I'm trying to do is also include, uh, it's going to be the a gang sheet, the the uh, 22 by 12 gang sheet. It'll have a color chart on it. Uh, it'll come with the color chart file because, you know, when printing, some colors aren't all there. And then the second half of it is going to be samplers for you to use. So that is in development. It will be coming soon. So I look for that to, I'm going to try and get it on there today. Yes, because we got most of it there. Jerry, morning all. Tea in my cup, 45 and foggy uh, in Ohio. Perpep, 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 whatever. You're you're always feeding, is that a dog or a cat? It's an animal. You're always feeding an animal. What's up, Chuck? Scott, pre printing subtransfers for 500 piece order, working on the X-Tool P2 laser. Nice, Chuck. Way to go. 
And we've got Tim checking in, 45, Rain on the way over in Toledo, Monster Rio Punch to Drake. Did you ever solve your other Monster Hydro problem? Did we ever find those? Hey, hey to Renee from Rye. And T-Don's got Embroider 4 Hats for Livy Witness Brand to find Zebra background for glitter sublimation design. Did we talk about that the other day? Whether it was like the, the pattern itself or if it was like you need the real the real zebra. Uh, try to make more key chains for tint business. Tint job at 125, tint job at three. So like an hour and a half, Tim's killing it. And you're probably going to, you know, time lapse those and you're probably going to get down on TikTok because you're pulling up everywhere on TikTok now. Uh, Diana, good morning to you. A, a few Facebook user, what's up to you as well? Barb, hi, Chuck, Sarah, Rye, Renee, Kristen, Jeff, Darren, Rena, Tim, George. Look at that. Barb got them all. Morning, Barb. Hi, Diana. Uh, what's the difference with UVDTF? Okay, let's get into it. So UVDTF, as opposed to DTF, which is uh, printed and then a powder is applied to it. And it has gone through an oven and it is cured, then which makes it a heat applied graphic. So for this shirt, this was an H, this was a, a DTF print, right? DTF print. So you had to use a heat press to put it on there. No, I got bleach on my shirt. That's that's what that spot is. But this is DTF. Now with um, UV DTF, it's pretty much a sticker. That's the easiest way to explain it. It's a UV printed sticker. It is. Um, let me grab something real quick so I can see over here. Uh, it, it'll be that. 3D glossy look. We'll put one on here so that way you can see it. Now, there's no background necessary on it. So, you know, as long as you have PNG with transparent background, it'll do that. There's no weeding that goes along with it. Um, it is. Now, I am not saying dishwasher safe because I don't know how everybody's dishwasher is. Some of them could be like infernos and, and we don't know what's going to happen. But it is dishwashing safe so we can wash it. No problem with that. Uh, it is scratch resistant. It's UV resistant for it. Um, it can apply to just about any hard surface, you know, so uh, if it doesn't have, a, you know, any stretch to it, that's the big thing, uh, because it doesn't necessarily like that. So we're talking metal, glass, wood, um, what do we got? High fiberglass, hard plastics, um, pretty much anything there. Uh, I just would not recommend it for anything on a stretchy service, uh, surface, right? Uh, just like regular DTF, UV DTF you have uh, endless design capabilities, right? So you can design with full color, with gradients. It, there's no real limit that that comes to that. So you're fine there. Uh, and then it's got like that 3D epoxy coating on it from that UV cure with it. So, uh, you know, it's got a clear varnish. It's cured with the UV light. And that's how it creates that beautiful glossy look. I'm going to show one and I'm going to pull one out and put it on one. And I'm going to give you uses that we have for it. Now, uh, with it being that... Um, the uv ink uh, you know it, it, it's cured so you don't have to worry about that um you don't have to worry about the colors fading out or anything like that uh so you, you'll be it, it it takes a lot they're they're nearly indestructible you know um when we were testing them out uh, i had to take a screwdriver to jam it one to get it to come off of something so it is there um and they're not, you know, it's not a matte finish. It's a glossy finish on it. So it's going to look pretty legit. So I, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go, uh, we'll actually put something together. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about next week because this all kind of flows into things and what can possibly be going on with it. Um, and where I'm really going to go into details in that is our mentorship group. So our call for that is at 930 today, which is in uh, 40 minutes, 40 minutes from now. That sounds about right. I'm going to go into talk about more details about what the plan is next week because uh, we got some places to visit, some people to see, some things to check out, uh, and there could be some really, really amazing things on the horizon here in the next uh, couple months or so. Uh, so, you know, if you're in the membership call, if you're in our mentorship group, membership, mentorship, membership, if you're in that, we're going to talk lots and lots about that for it. So I'm pretty excited about this. Now, if you go to fatdadcd.com, right, I have right down there, that'll get you the links into the UV DTF. If you're ready to order, you can use the code UV20. That is UV20. I will put that on the screen right here. I use the code UV20. Right? Am I putting that in there? Oh, 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 oh no. That was bad. Use the code UV20. Nope. Still didn't do it. Still didn't do it to save 20%. There. We'll put that on there and we'll have that 
we'll have that on there. I'll post that as a, did I put that in the comments? Yeah, it's in the comments. So you'll be able to, to show that. Use the code UV20 to save 20% when you order. And we're going to get through comments. Uh, I've got one that I'm going to put on here that I'm talking about ways that we can use it as well. Uh, hi, Barb. Hi, Barb. Uh, we're supposed to have flurries overnight into tomorrow. It is what it is. I'm over it. I said, that's what I said this morning, taking the kids, because it's that misty rain. So, you know, it just kind of gets everywhere and just gets cold and damp. Like, well, at least it's not snow. Now, rise five things. Return all of the late shipment from Sanmar. Ooh, how'd that turn out? Uh, set up the exhaust for new equipment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you got. I had to think about it for a second. Uh, print and ship out orders. Check out this small storefront. Ooh, a laundry and packing for LA. Love it. And you got DTF back running, right? I was kind of, I was kind of excited about that. Uh, sample sheets, great idea. That's what's, that's what we're working on. Uh, I wanted to get this part out, and then we'll have the sample sheets. I'll get them. Uh, I will make sure to get them listed today, so that way you can get on there, so you have everything with it, and then good to go. Uh, JD, good morning to you. And he done, yeah, I never, I never got to find in the background time flies um, making keychains. Now you'll probably see me making them in the mentor room. Awesome, that's what that's what we're there. And for some reason, Amazon sent the Monster Hydra some somewhere. I'll take it. Wait to see, it was a win. It was a win. And Rena, here she is. She is. I have a couple companies that wanted their logo and color, and uh, on their awards, and I just couldn't justify at that point in my business UV printer. It's freaking awesome. Love the three D effect. So. That's, and that's exactly where we want is, you know, we have the option to engrave a lot of things, but we still have people that want color on things. And so this opens up another option to be able to do that without the investment into the big investment into a DTF printer, into the UV, excuse me, the UV printer. So I'm going to do a tumbler here and show you just how simple it is. So pulling out of the box, uh, because this is one of the ones, you know, that we do. So we're going to use the sticker here. And as you can see, it comes with a cover sheet. Let's see if we can get it. Cover sheet, you will peel it off. I always peel the backing from it. doesn't matter what I'm doing. I peel the backing from stuff. So it peels off and it's clear, just like that. Now, I just pull it off. should probably clean it, but hey, we're going to put it. This isn't a screw on lid, is it, Corey? I, I, bet I want to check. That's something that I double check on because, especially on tumblers, if they're a screw on lid, you want to make sure that you're putting stuff where it goes right. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't get all wonky and stuff. Now, as far as this, it doesn't have a screw on lid, so it doesn't really matter. Now, this stuff is sticky, 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 sticky. I know you're not going to be able to see it perfectly well. So I'm going to do my best to just kind of, to kind of do it. And you can see, oh yeah, yeah, it's going on. It's going on. It's going on right like so. So there, I just put it on there. So you'll just put it on there, just like that, right? And then you'll, just that simple, put it on, there it is. Now, uh, I usually will use the squeegee. Um, do I have one close over here? I think one's over on the other side, just to make sure that everything is adhered down. I'm just pushing it, I'm just pushing it, I'm just pushing it, squeegee. So we'll make sure that everything is down on it where it needs to be. And ta-da, 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 ta-da. So then from there, it's just as simple as, not as simple as because it is kind of, because it is sticky. You got the sticky backing on it. You'll pull, you'll pull my hands in the way. So I guess I got to figure out a better way to do it. You'll pull, and this is why you want to make sure that everything is down so you don't pull any edges up because remember, super, super sticky with it. Once it gets going, It'll go on its own, but it is a sticky, sticky backing. Once you get it on there, you're able to pull. And then just like that, it pulls right off. And now with that, you have a nice shiny sticker that is on there. And that is UV protected. That is scratch proof, weatherproof, uh, resistant. You can wash it. You can scratch it. You're going to be able to do everything. But to be able to add that to that. Now, they have to be purchased in gang sheets. So you want to adjust, you know, to for your thing. Now on uh, like a typical, uh, the small one, which is the 12 by 22, uh, you can fit about 30, 2.75 to 3 inch rounds on it. And so, you know, when we print these off, we got a bunch of different ones on it for different projects and stuff that we're working on to put on for things. Da -da 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 -da. 
but you know when you factor that in you've got uh what is it 15 for the sheet 10 for shipping so call it 25 you've got basically a quarter in each one of these so a quarter in each one of those and once you have these you can apply them to anything so you know you can have just black tumblers you know we're just going to have a, a whole load of black tumblers in there and hey guess what uh we're going to add that logo to it for a team oh we want to promote ourselves. yep we're going to add that on there for it oh yep we want to promote somebody else yep we can put that on there so it allows you to have one product but do it multiple different ways you do a bunch of stuff for schools there it is use their school logo that is the correct side on it use these for notebooks use these for thumb drives use these for um, any of those hard substrates, you're able to put these on there and add it to it. So adding those full color options. So if you're already doing DTF, it's just another add-on to do to be able to add the things on there. So it just, you know, we'll change it up and put it on there. So that's our plan with it. Um, it's something that we've been working on for for a while, right? And going back and forth with the vendor, making sure everything was set up good with it, making sure everything is fine because it is a process. It is not just a, it, it is, it is worse to me than DTF setting up because on DTF, you just got to set the printer up and make sure the prints work. And after that, the rest is pretty much cake. It's going through the dryer, everything, you know, it's pulled through powder. You got to check stuff every once in a while. When it comes to printing UV DTF, and I'm going to have videos for you next week, you know, you've got, as it prints out on the film, it's being laminated so that way it can become a sticker. So if any of that rolls off just a little, it'll bunch up. It'll cause issues there. There's a lot that go into it. Uh, and that's what, that's what Tuesday's about. Um, we're going to, we're going to do, we're going to do some fun stuff uh, at our supplier and we're going to work on some things, but I'm pretty excited to, you know, like how easy, how easy that is just to put on there and then create a product for somebody. And then how simple is it to do anything? You want to do fundraisers, you want to do school things, you want to do corporate gear. Just that simple to be able to create and do that. Uh, Rena's going to have a lot of stuff that she's going. Uh, love the shout outs. Good morning, Renee. Uh, Leatherette Portfolios, JDS uh, has sublimation awards. Not dishwasher safe, it comes off UVDTF. Not all dishwashers. We've had stuff go through it and just lasted just fine. That's why I said it comes down to dishwashers because each one, you know, heat, anything can go crazy with it. Uh, you know, we've thrown it on the top rack, top, top rack, didn't have any problems. Hand washing, no problems at all with that. I think it really comes down to the dishwasher. Um, yep, it is totally different work than sublimation. I engrave the words. A absolutely. You know, when you're able to, to see that and it gives that, that raised look. So let's... Oh, Okay, let me let me do this. But I'm gonna put one on here. Corey's down here, so you know she's got a. I didn't hear her sneeze for a week when we were around other people. She gets home and it's like that she held it all in for there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put something that has a little more open space on something. And I'm gonna grab. Give me what tumbler can I put something on there, Corey? Do you have anything handy dandy over there? Uh, I think this one is at my cup, this glitter one. Here's at your cup. What is this cup? It's me, so I can put it on mine because hey, it's mine. So, we'll be able to see what color. I'm going to give you guys options. We're going to do another one. You're going to tell me which color should we put on this. Just mine. Why? What do you want? You want You want level up on something for you? No, I would just see how that would be Oh, yeah. What other tumblers do we have over there? Because there's only 37 of them to choose from. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys, you let me know. We go black or we go white. We're going black or white. And we're going to put it, we're going to put it like in the sky here. Black or white, black or white. You let me know. Then we'll do another one. And then you'll be able to see it. Because it is kind of hard to see on this one because of, because it's just a solid piece. But it does have the dimensional to it. So we'll do another one so that way we can show how it is there. But it is a totally different look, a totally different feel than sublimation. It's a hell of a lot faster than sublimation. Um, and you know, it is once it's stuck on there, it is stuck on there. So you're going to want to make sure that you are fully prepared for what might happen from that. So just be prepared on that. All right. Uh, so we'll look see. 
Now, I have my eyes on a UV printer that is capable of doing UV DTF. There are several models. Look at the, what is that, the Zanti X3. You should check it out, or the 33. If I go with a flatbed uh, UV printer, uh, it will be a Mamaki, and it will be from the guys over at PDS. Uh, and the main reason is Steve and the support staff that is over there is just top notch. Uh, and that's, you know, when we looked at it two years ago, I was, you know, yeah, it's going to be $40,000 on it. But if you have the business for it, why not? But now, you know, do you really need to invest in that when you can, put, you can just get stickers? You can just get the stickers and put it on it and be the same way. So that was kind of our thing going back and forth. Which way do we do with it? Yes, it is a one trick pony, but it allows us to put on a bunch of different things. So uh, when it comes to buying a flatbed, we're definitely looking at, uh, at what PDS has to offer because of that. Um, that's what we're going to do. Sample packs of UV to purchase would be great. It's on my list, guys. Maybe, maybe during why we are on our um, why we are on our mentorship call here in just you know thirty five minutes, I will start putting together that so it'll be on there for it. And once again, like I said, use the code UV twenty to save twenty percent. Uh, Jerry, I didn't know why I can never see your comment unless Todd pops him up on the screen. She just says you blocked, right? Um, you will. You will have your own discount codes on there. In fact, all the discount codes that are in there now, you know, if you if you haven't noticed, if you go into the mentorship group and you check at the top of the links, there's discount codes on things. Uh, those discount codes are active as well. So, yep, those are good to go for some stuff. Uh, Rita says, I've been testing on cups and so far, no issues. Same thing here. Um, I don't know why that is. <laughs> Todd said, um, Todd, you need my OBS button, tiny camp. No, it can switch. I've got other things in the works here in the next three months that that we just might they're, they're, we we can talk about those sooner or later. Um, all right, uh, Sarah, I suggest something thicker, uh, like a contour to hold tiny letters uh, to ensure they stay together. Yes, I one hundred percent would do that. Also, like the other thing that we run into is like a, a super fine text in white, because white is you know works as the underbase. So if there's a stroke or you're bringing anything in with that, you bring the choke in and it's just white, it might not do it all the way. Uh, so anything that is small, I would 100% put some time of border around it so you wouldn't run into the issues. Um, I wouldn't see why not. It's not coming off. Uh, you know, you're going to take something, get off. But yeah, you could absolutely do it. My main reason for not doing that, as opposed to, say, our regular uh, equal solvent printed vinyl that we do for stickers and that, it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot, lot cheaper to print on the Eco Solvent printer than it is on the UV uh, DTF. So, even for all of our fundraising, anything like that, basic stickers, it's going to go that way. Anything that needs going hard goods, like a ton of people are doing the cup wraps and that. I haven't even explored that side of it if it's something that we're going to offer. But um, with that, you you know, that's what that is good for here. So, still not, still not a horrible, you know, um, it's still a great alternative to be able to do it. Um, and I've never had an issue with running through dishwasher. Jerry's just got a super, super warm dishwasher. Oh, for clients. And that's what I, that's what I have listed on there is I have a, you know, you can dishwash it, you can wash it. You just can't wash it in the dishwasher. So you can hand wash it just fine. Um, it's, it all comes down on the dishwasher and, and how hot it is. But if you tell them from the get go, Hey, you know, hand wash on this and they take it from there, then it, and then it's on there. Yeah, you could do it on a car window, like a, um, a window like a car. Absolutely. I would still, on that, um, my big part to it would be it's just cheaper for the um, for the regular printed decals for it. Um, but those, if you are already doing stuff, you know, car lots and things like that, you know, those badges that they have on the back, pretty sweet, pretty sweet for there. Uh, yes, but it's a pain in the, you know what, to take off. It is. I mean, like I said, when we tried taking it off, uh, it was one from there. It would, um, it, it, I had to break out the, the, um, the screwdriver and I was jabbing at it to get it off. So I would not want to mess with that on there. Black green is black. So we're going to go black because nobody else answered. So yeah. And if I bought one, it'd be from Steve. Absolutely. You know, Steve pre provides some of the best service in the industry. Um, he won't let you buy something you don't need. He will give you as much information that you, that you need with it. Um, they're always trying to better their team, uh, their products, their service, everything with it. So if when it comes to UV DTF, um, Steve is my go-to for flatbeds. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
Uh, is it wrong to say no to people bringing their products to us to put designs on? It's a personal choice. Um, I know some people that don't do it at all. Uh, I know other people that didn't. Now, when we had the storefront, you know, a, and a lot depends on what you're doing. Now, I know embroiders that that's all they do is embroider and stuff gets brought into them. You know, so the customer bring in stuff, they'll do it. Um, ours was always if we did anything, it had to be a new shirt. So I had new tags is what it had to be. We weren't letting them bring in. You know, they didn't pull out their sweaty gym shirt to put it in there, uh, but new with tags. And they didn't really save a whole much. They maybe sold, you know, save five bucks by bringing in their own thing, maybe. But we couldn't guarantee it. We're like, hey, if, if something happens to it, you know, and it's our fault, we'll replace it with something like this. You, you're not going to get exactly this because we're not doing it. Uh, and then you can take it on a case by case situation of, hey, we're not doing that on this. You know, we're just not going to do it. You know, it, it's whatever you decide is what you decide. You know, I can't say, yep, do it. I can't say not do it because we've done it both ways as well. Uh, and Sarah says, uh, we say no to customer fried garments now since a few bad experiences. And that's what it takes, right? Uh, and Barb said, hmm, now you have me thinking as I have schools wanting window stickers is what type of stickers would be best. Barb, even for us having the option to do both, we're still going to use decals. Now uh, we're still going to use the eco solvent printed ones because they're going to be a lot cheaper. Um, they're going to be easier to remove too. Uh, so that helps with it. Um, and, and those are the big factors, especially on schools. If you're using this fundraisers, they're going to make the, the most that they can. But uh, when on things like, like the, the car decals, the regular stickers, that's the way we're going with it. Um, same here. That's why I don't want to. Yeah, I don't have to. Okay, so we're going to try it again. Here we go. We're going to put this in the sky. We're going to put this in the sky right there. And I'm going to try and do everything backwards-ish. It's mine. If it gets a little messy, it does get set. But so you've got your piece here. I'm going to just peel off the corner. Fold that back so that way I can see it. Okay. Super simple. You see that that's pulled from there. You see now that I'm peeling the back from the sticky. So there we go. So now we have a clear decal, right? We have it clear. There's nothing in the background. We are just going to line it up. And we're just going to, boom, just like that. Just like that. Now we're going to go on this side with it. We're going to go on this side with it. I've got the handy dandy. I'm going to actually have to look at this one, guys. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to have the handy dandy scraper and then go from here. Make sure everything is down because if not, if that adhesion isn't there, you know, hey, it, there's a chance that you could pull it up. So you're going to want to make sure that everything is applied to it. Now, as you can see, I'm picking away. So you got to keep that thumbnail on there, right? And we're going to peel. And we're going to see. I'm peeling backwards with you guys with it. Boom, boom, boom. See, did it? Did everything come off there? Yep. Came off. Everything's coming off just fine. I'm peeling through there. And there it is. Just like that on there. Now, you can kind of see it has the dimension to it. You can feel the dimension to it. It feels raised up. It has that 3D look to it, that 3D feel to it. And just that simple, we were able to take one and put it on there. And now here's a branded thing. Now I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't do, right? Not with my good scissors. Crazy, crazy. I'm going to use my good scissors. Let's go ahead and let's, let's see what we got here, folks. Let's see what we got. Where is it at? There's the little knife, right? Yeah, here, here's where the funness gets to. Got a knife, right? Um, yeah, it's still on there. So, see, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But those are the things that you're able to do with the UV DTF. And like I said, I think that'll be a great add-on product for people, especially if you're already using DTF. Uh, like anybody that we're selling to that are using it in uh, for business shirts, um, that are using it for events, anything with that, get a little, you know, get the little gang sheet and put the logos on there. See what else you can add stuff to for another, um, another, uh, another upsell, right? It's there. You like that? You like that? See, we did it just backwards, just like that, you know? So if I do it, Jerry, you make application <laughs> look easy. I did that backwards, Jerry, right? And I think, I, and if it looks a little wonky, you know, hey, there. We just did it backwards. It kind of lined it up. There's tons of things that you can put out there for it. Like I should have did whatever. But 
it's on there it's good we are set i'm gonna get that out of my way so it's off there but uv dtf is now live use the code uv20 it'll save on it and we've got that we continue ask your questions and go from there um i think the bill of caps has anyone tried that i wouldn't see why not like you're talking like right here especially if it doesn't get washed a whole lot all right let's give it a go i gotta switch hats because uh you guys can't see. You guys, you guys can't see. Let's see. This is black hat, black hat, black hat. Let's go. I think I got another. I got a white one in here. What did I just do with it? Let's see. Let's go. Right, white. There it is. Taking the hat off, just like this. Boom. We're putting it on here. Doom, 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 doom. We peeled. We're gonna, we're gonna put it on here and see what we get. Just like this. I don't know. You know, it might not work. We're gonna find out. There it is. Boom. Put it right across there. Let's find out. Let's find out. There's only one way to do it, right? So we'll put it on here because it has that soft fabric. So it might not stick. It might not stick for long. We're going to find out. It's on here. We're going to peel from the side. And nope, it does not stick to that. Did not stick to that. So there's no for hat. What about to the bottom of the hat and the underside? Probably not because it's already picked up all the fuzz to it. So nope. It will not stick there. So, there. Not to a hat. Not to a hat, because now it's not sticky. So, good to know. That's what we do, is we test things out. Only one way to find out. So we can say, no, not to a hat. Um, let's see, what else? Yep, that's that's what I was thinking. Sweet. Glad we could help with that. Okay. Um, other things that were going on this week. This wasn't all going to be UV DTF. That's going to be a, a Tuesday with Todd coming up soon. We'll be all about UV DTF. Uh, this week, if you even if you're not in the laser game, uh, there was the laser fest that was going on, and there's actually bonus content today. Um, you can still go there. You can still I think now it's like a hundred bucks to be able to get the upgrade for it. Um, but there was three days of training, it was, and it was free. You know, I promoted it good for people, so that way you can get out there and get it. I didn't get anything from it. Uh, but our friend Alicia did, and you know because she was, was a presenter there and she had her affiliate with it. Uh, but we went ahead and if you got the upsell, you know, bought it all beforehand. I think it was like fifty bucks or whatever. And now it's a hundred because after the fact. Um, but there was a ton of information. I mean, we had what five or six videos each day, three or four lives, um, giveaways, files. There was so much training in it, and across the board, just not on you know, how to cut something or how to build something, you know, a lot of it on the marketing side of things, uh, you know, a lot on, you know, there's stuff on Etsy, there's stuff on Shopify, uh, there's stuff on AI, there was a ton of great information on that. So uh, for a freak, you know, we, we talk training often, you know, where do you go for training? Where do you find it? And for this class, you know, it was three days, uh, and actually four days, because they're doing something, you know, a bonus day to day, you can't beat that. You know, when you look at, you know, what classes are and, you know, going to, you know, um, going to an event, going to a seminar, going to, you know, a conference, you know, you look at the cost and the value at it. You know, they've got, uh, they have a laser one coming up. And I think that one's like 400 bucks a person. And, you know, all the presenters on there look amazing. Everything that comes along with it looks amazing. Uh, it's, so to me, it really feels that it's worth it. Um, there's other ones that you go to and you're like, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, a lot of trade shows that you go to, the free classes, it's usually about 25% good info, 75% buy our stuff. Uh, so think about that. Now, when you get into the paid classes of, um, you know, at the trade shows, most of those paid ones are really focused on the material. You know, you're going to pay, you're going to get the information for it. Uh, so, you know, just decide, is, am I going to get what's worth out of this? Uh, we've went to other ones where, you know, when we actually broke it down on a per piece basis, how many speakers were there? We know that when the material that was presented by these speakers was material that they'd already used elsewhere. And it was so it was accessible because we knew where to look for it and what they were charging for those classes. And a lot of it was was free that they'd done. Um, you know, some of it was 25 bucks some of it was 100 bucks. So then it was to go through. OK, there's you know, there's 10 speakers that are here. On average, it was 30 bucks for each one. OK, this is 500 bucks. What's what am I getting for this extra 200? Because I can go watch all of this on my own. Uh, you just really have to look at things to decide what's in here. Is it worth it to you or is it not worth it to you? Uh, we've done a lot of and I'm not saying that every free training is bad. Uh, a one of my best trainings that I went to was the Trotech one in NBM Indy. 
uh, and that was a free one. And there was a ton of information that I've been to other ones where I've got up and walked out because it was a sales pitch from the minute you walked in the door. And it was, it just, that just doesn't make me feel good. Uh, when I pay for classes, I expect to get information out of it. Uh, and I've spent thousands on stuff where I didn't get anything out of it. So just be mindful when it's stuff like that. That laser fest is a free one. There was so, so, so much even there that even at a hundred bucks, I would say that you're definitely going to get your values worth out of uh, you know that hundred dollar one, especially if you get it still while it's going on. Because some of the codes that were there were only good for like a week or so, but there's a lot of free things that you get for for you know joining that VIP, the access that you get. Uh, I think from JP Plus, there's like fifty buck value that's getting sent out to you. So a lot of stuff that you can use for it. Uh, let's see where 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 were we? Um, let's see. Uh, Ba, 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 ba. Right there. Jerry said, for customer supplied garments, uh, not guaranteed. They sign a waiver. I make it difficult for them after several buy experiences. Yeah. And then you get to the point where you just don't do it at all, right? Here's what it is. It's not going to work. We're just not going to do it. Um, let's see. Uh, so we, we did that. We tried that. Uh, yeah, see? Then that's what we do. That's, you know, we look and see if it works on it. But now, like, hard hats, baseball helmets, you know, you know, you know, catcher's helmets, pitcher's helmets, pitcher's helmets, batter's helmets, you know, uh, motorcycle helmets, anything with a helmet. Yeah, football helmets. Those would look, it's going to look pretty sweet on it. It's going to have that, you know, that that raised look to it. So it's going to look super professional, super slick with that. Um, so there. Um, anything that you don't mind it sticking onto for a while, I think it's going to be just fine with for it. So I think it's there. Uh, basically, same as a decal, hard surfaces only. Correct. Uh, because for soft substrates, that's where you're going to use the regular DTF. So that way heat activation will activate the, um, the adhesive and it'll stick to it through there. So, yes, hard surfaces is where it would go from that. Waiting to hear back from... Okay, how do I pronounce this? Is It's because it's, it's not... It's Aon, right? Aon? Aon? I, if, I'm not the greatest at pronouncing the thing. Uh, but with right there, I think... Don't quote me on this. But I believe that... There is a code that is in LaserFest that if you purchase a laser from them using that code in there, they throw in a rotary. So if you're looking at it, I mean, right there, that's worth 100 bucks in itself right there. Uh, still going back and watching everything. 49 bucks was so worth it. There was a bunch of freebies that were available and useful for vendors. And that must be the Trotech one. Is that the one? That, did we spend 50 bucks on that one? I don't think we spent 50 bucks on that one, was it? Or no, the 49. Oh, for the 49 for the uh the laser fest the laser yeah and so that's what i think that's what it was was that 50 there's there's a ton of stuff in there like we got a lot of ideas with stuff that we want to do with the laser that we just we weren't sure and so there was like okay how's this oh we saw some other things with it oh this makes sense on it um how can we how can we make this work how can we do this and there is a ton, ton, ton of in there. And the great thing about when you have the recordings, when you pay that, uh, that upsell now, which I think is like 97 bucks for it, it's still totally worth it because not only do you get access to this year, you get access to last year, anything that came along with it, and you can watch it at your own leisure. So I would highly recommend if you are in the laser field or even if you're just in, you know, a personal gift sector, even, you know what, even in apparel decoration, a lot of that... I'm not going to say all of it will apply. Some of it will apply, which is the knowledge behind it is pretty sweet with it. Um, overall, very useful. Uh, a few of the lives really helped me decide it was for me. Yeah, and it was. I mean, it was it was a really, really good thing. And like I said, when I come across things like that, I have no problem sharing them uh, because I know the people that are presenting it. And that was the thing. I knew a couple of the presenters uh, on, on you know personal levels. Uh, and so I... I said, you know, what are your thoughts on this? And they're like, best thing, you know, for what it is and, and how much it is. Because remember, it's free it, for to watch it, or you could pay the upgrade for the other stuff. It was it was really worth it. I think it can. I don't think it could be any worse than the other ones. Like when we would do our helmet decals now, um, we would do, uh, you know, laminated decals on it. And they'd get the season out. You know, they throw them around, they beat them up. I think it's going to be about the same for it. Um, 180 piece samples and uh, the pie burn. Yeah, there it is. Heads up on your JP code every time I update my cart, it switches the discount code away from yours. So here's the thing on that. As long as you are using our link to get to JP+, Plus, so we have the affiliate link that gets there, it still counts for everything. 
because that was one of the things that we talked about last year with them, you know, because they're always asking their affiliates how they feel about things was that there was a lot of times that codes were better that they had, or they would have a sale on something, you know, a flash sale on something, and then the code wouldn't work. And so, you know, they couldn't stack codes and it was there. And that was our really only way of knowing. So they changed it up. So yes, use whatever code you please. If there's not one, because they'll run stuff when those, when those cups go on sale, man, and they're like next to half off order them up. So as long as you use the link, you're good to go. Yeah. Tro Trotech was a freebie class and I would have paid for it. It was a great class. Really, 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 really great class. Um, have I used uh, your conveyor yet? I used mine for a fixture for pressing my 500 piece order. I have used it uh, because on ours, you know, we wanted to see, you know, if it was feasible to do like a 16 inch round or 18 inch round sign on it. And <sighs> Not necessarily, because yes, we can run the conveyor, we can do everything with that, but on the production side of it, it's not, it because of having to take it in and apart and things like that, it's not super, um, it's time consuming to make it worth that for it. So that's what we got. Um, all right, moving on. So we've done UV DTF, we've talked Laser Fest. Uh, we'll, we're going to wrap this up here pretty quick because I got to get ready for our mentorship call, which, hey, if you want to join us over in our mentorship call, it is 20 bucks a month. And I'm telling you, I can tell you that we had somebody sign up on the day of me walking them through something. I'm pretty sure if Rye's still here, Rye got his 20 bucks worth just by me explaining some stuff on DTF to him. So there's no reason for you not to join. Go to fatdadcd.com. You can see it, mentorship here, 20 bucks a month. Uh, we're doing, you know, how what, a minimum of six lives a month? It's almost, we're doing almost mon every Monday, Wednesday, Friday after this, we're doing a live. Uh, and then we're going to start doing one month. One at night a month, starting this month as well, for those that are working in the day. They're being recorded. They're, I'm slow to update them, to get them uploaded. I will get better at that. By the end of today, everything will be uploaded through today. So that is on my, my goal sheet to have taken care of. But uh, it's basic for me. It's your resource center. Uh, the things that we're able to do to help people out, uh, we're all in this together. There is a ton of great people in there uh, that's providing some amazing information. And I am, I'm not the leader of this. I'm just the facilitator of it. You guys are providing amazing feedback, amazing info on things. I said, Brian was the one who said something about, you know, when we were talking about putting, you know, QR codes and websites on it. And he goes, Hey, yeah, no offense, Todd, but you know, you've got like 37, uh, you know, links and I don't know which one, you know, do I go this one or do I go that one? He's right. You know, and that's what I needed to hear. So that's why this is the one that gets promoted, fatdadcd.com. That's where everything's at. You can go there for anything that you need from us. So I'm telling you, go there, sign up. It's worth it. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, it's worth it. Um, as Sarah said, I think I'll be selling my conveyor. Never open it and don't think I'll use it for my purposes. You have it. I wouldn't sell it because you're not going to get what you wanted out of it. And I bet we can find some uses for it. Uh, because you have it, you know, why not? Why not use it? I can, I can think of some fun stuff because that's what I'm going to use on that. <laughs> Rice says, yep. <laughs> and uh, I could, I could feel it in the picture that he sent that everything <laughs> was back to good off of it. Um, so as we're winding this down here next week, I don't know if we're going to have a Tuesday with Todd. Uh, I'm going to talk about in the mentorship group, what the plan is for Tuesday, uh, but we're going to be out of the office uh, as next week uh, is Dax, Minnesota. This week, GPX starts today, right? Or did it start yesterday? Uh, GPX down in Texas. So if you're down there, make sure to post those pictures. Tell us what you see about it, what you feel about it, everything there. Next week is Dax, Minnesota at the reservation. Uh, and so I need to get into a place early in the week before they get loaded up and head out. Uh, and they, there's, I think there could be some nice big things happening in the future one way or another i've got a call here later today with one company and i've got a meeting at the supplier on tuesday for another one and i, I think there's a love triangle that can be had or we just do it we just go all in and just go crazy because there's there's some pretty cool stuff coming out down the pipeline on the dtf side of things the uv dtf side of things and sublimation side of things and if i can get in there to help facilitate some of that you know i will because i especially if it's stuff that that i use on the daily uh, i'm not going to promote anything that we don't use that we don't use uh, that we don't have or use or if you guys are all using something in the embroidery side and i don't you're like this is the best product ever yeah i'm going to promote i'll be like here my embroidery friends say this is the best we're going to go with it so we got that so 
by Monday, I should have an update on whether there will be a Tuesday with Todd or not. Uh, it might get postponed. It might get moved around. I got to get with Bob to see what his schedule looks like so we can move it in and out from there. Um, but other than that, man, it's Friday. It's the weekend. Um, for those that take weekends off, enjoy your weekend off, right? For those that don't take weekends off, why not? Why are you letting your business run you when you should be running your business? Make sure to take time for yourself, take time for your family, take time for those that are around you that need you. Because as you get older, so do they. And memories can only be made for so long. So, you know, get out there and make those memories. Enjoy it. Um, and once the weather turns and everything, it gets so much better. At least for me, it does. I need that weather to change. So you guys have an amazing day. Peace, love, press on. Members in our mentorship community, I'll see you in 13 minutes. So if you're not a member, you still have time to go over to fatdadcd.com, get signed up, and you can join us in our live call here in just a few minutes. Peace, love, press on. We'll see you guys next time.